Well, our wheat prospects in the Garfield County area, in particular north uh, central Oklahoma, are much, much better than they were a year ago at this time. Uh, of course, a year ago at this time, we were already several months into a, a really strong drought. Uh, our rainfall has substantially improved uh, our potential to have a good crop this time. Uh, a little bit of variance in this area with regards to, to wheat maturity. We had some that were, was planted in September and October. Uh, which are more ideal times, but uh, we also had some wheat planted behind double crops that were a little late coming out. Uh, the uh, tough summer we had really fouled up the maturity on those double crops to the point that we ended up planting some wheat in mid to late November, in some cases even December if we were able to get on the fields, and so those stands are a little less uh, impressive but still have potential. Uh, the rainfall we had this fall was perfect uh, for, for germination and for excellent uh, wheat growth. As a matter of fact, in the last little bit, we've actually had enough growth that we've had a little bit of a unique situation with cattle bloat. And we've had an increased incidence of cattle bloat, and that's usually an indicator of just excellent conditions for forage growth. Um, cattle are, have been doing extremely well. Uh, there's a lot to forage on. Uh, quality is really good. Uh, I think because we had the drought we had, we didn't uh, have the crop the year previous that we normally would have and fertilize for. So we had some carryover nitrate, nutrients, uh, and uh, some producers went ahead and chose to put on a little bit of an additional fertilizer, and I think all of that is just there and available because of the rainfall and the conditions we've had. So at this point, it looks pretty good.